Hello everyone, my name is Janet Winkle from A Stamp in Every Hand. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my classes for this year's Stamp Escape. This is our third annual Stamp Escape. It'll be April 21st, 22nd, and 23rd at the Music Road Hotel in Pigeon Forge. I'd like to invite you to go to stampescape.com and look at all the classes. Our make and take party as of yesterday sold out, but we still have 31 great classes available. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about mine. First of all, I'm teaching a um, Copic Marker instructional class. And you will be doing two finished cards. You, you won't be putting them together, although I'll be giving you the card kits, but you'll be doing the finished coloring on these. I'll also be telling you all about Copic markers, how to buy them. I'll teach you the different strokes. You don't have to bring anything to this class except yourself because I'm going to be providing you with a set of pins to use. You won't be taking those home with you, but you'll have a set of pins to use. You'll also have practice pieces that you'll be able to take home with you. But these are Copic markers. The one I recommend is the less expensive one, and that's the Chow. Uh, a lot of people are maybe more familiar with the Sketch. Now, the Sketch costs more, but it's not any better. doesn't hold any more ink than the Chow. So we're going to be working with the Chow. And I'll be telling you a little bit more, more about those in another class that I'm going to be doing also at Stamp Escape. So that's my first class on Friday. Then we switch to Saturday morning, and I'm going to be teaching. This is a Christmas book card, a Christmas Stampscapes book card. So I use Stampscapes in this. So you'll be learning how to make the book frame, and we will make a beautiful Stampscape We will make a beautiful stampscape image on the inside. We'll also be working with die cuts. I'll teach you how to do the frame. And this is one of the easiest stampscapes classes that I teach. So coloring in this is very simple. And when you look at the instructions for this class, it asks for a specific kind of ink that you bring. And I want you to bring memories. That is the ink that works the best on the glossy paper that I use in this class. So when I ask you for a specific ink, it's because there's a reason for it. That's the one that I know will do the best job. You're also asked to bring color box stylus. A lot of people ask me what those are. These are color box stylus. That's another thing you're asked for in the, uh, in the supply list. Uh, score tape. You can use score tape or you can use red line tape, either one. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about that. Now we're going to go over to my Smoky Mountain Strong. These are three classes, or three cards, that depict different areas here in the Smokies. This is my most popular class right now. It is over half sold out, so if you want to take this class, I urge you to go ahead and get your tickets. Again, I am using the very popular Stampscapes rubber stamps. And uh, that class, I think everybody will really enjoy it. There's a cabin, there's the water mill, and there's also the church. And if you'll notice that the church is also used in this class here too. So, again, in that class, I ask you to bring Copic markers. Um, Again, look for the Chows, C-I-A-O, that's what they are, Chow Copic Markers. They're less expensive, and you can buy those, look for them online. If you look around, you can find them for a dollar, $3.59 a piece. I wish they were $1.59. Okay, moving on from that will be Sunday morning. Now, this is a really neat class that I'm teaching. It's called Napkin Collage. And in this class, you're going to take the really beautiful napkins that you find at places like Tuesday morning, you know, other places like that in the beautiful packages, and you're going to be making these cards. You're going to use PPA, which is perfect paper adhesive. We're also going to use a metallic gold uh, paint. Uh, in that class, I ask you to bring flat brushes. A lot of people don't understand what flat brushes are. These are examples of flat brushes. You need a half to a five-eighths inch. Any, anywhere in that range is fine. And then you need like a quarter of an inch. Um, I think the quarter of an inch is called a six. But you can look at them and you can tell a flat brush 
is what you need. You need two sizes for the class. So those are just some examples of the brushes that you will be using in that class. Um, also, I want to go back over here to this one. In this class, you do not use me memories. You use memento ink. So when I ask you for an ink in that class, I'm talking about memento. So I want you to bring a memento pad for that class and memories for this one. Um, I really like to urge everybody to go to the Stamp Escape website. Check out all 31 classes. There are openings currently in all classes. There are some that are really starting to fill up. So you want to make your decision now. Again, that's April 21st, 22nd, 23rd at the Music Road Hotel in Pigeon Forge. And please go and like my Facebook page, which is a stamp in every hand, and like the Stamp Escape page also, because we need you to pass the word along. It's your word of mouth. It's you that keeps all this going and keeps it getting bigger and bigger every year. And I would like to invite all of you to come to Stamp Escape 2017. Thank you.